Hello fellow Vikings, my name is Vinrenu and today I am going to teach you about building stability and integrity in Valheim. We will start off with the basic stuff and then progress to the more advanced topics. First off, I am doing this with cheats activated in single player mode, which allows me to fly around and show you certain stuff better. I will also use meters as a measurement in this video, with one standard wooden pole being 2 meters, a core lock being 4 meters and so on. You can also see the measurements in the building menu. Short information about workbenches. The area of effect here is a sphere, meaning you may need to add another workbench if you are too high above the first one. Since you can place them on any wooden floor, this should be no problem at all. While you have your building hammer equipped, you can see by the highlighted color for structure how stable it is. The most stable color is blue, which means that this piece is directly connected to the ground. And it then goes on over green to orange and then to red. The dark red color over here means that this structure cannot support anything else and if I add another wood pole on it, for example, it will crumble down after a few seconds. Different materials have different maximum heights they can support. For all basic wooden structures this is 16 meters or 8 wooden poles. In all cases there is no difference which structure of the material you use. For example the values are the same for the 2 meter pole, the 1 meter pole, the 2 meter walls and so on. The core log is next and has a maximum of 24 meters. And the last wood variant, the reinforced iron wood, goes up a whopping 50 meters. Basic stone structures will go up to 60 meters, but can be supported with iron wood to achieve 28 meters. Here's the short overview in a screenshot. Remember, this is the maximum height you can build with these structures, but in most cases the practical height is one piece lower, since this is the last point where these structures can support other stuff. And apart from the case of building a giant antenna to communicate with outer space, hello Viking 1 and Viking 2, you probably want to add roof pieces, platforms or walls if you build up high. Now let's get to the next step which is building sidewise and how stability is calculated with more complex structures. As a rule of thumb, you can say that you can only build half the distance to the side. So for the basic wood, which can reach 8 poles or 16 meters up, you can build 4 poles or 8 meters out to the side near ground level. The higher up you go, the less out you can get, since you already used some of the stability to go up. Again, using our rule of thumb here, if we go up 4 poles or 8 meters, we used half of our maximum height already and we have the same 4 poles or 8 meters remaining. We take half of that again, which means we can now only go 4 meters or 2 poles out to the side. Again, remember, this is the maximum distance you can get without supporting anything else and if you want to add a floor piece, for example, you need to go one piece back. The rule of thumb here is not completely perfect, as you can see here, but it comes pretty close. The same applies for core wood, as you can see on the other side. Iron wood, however, is special in this case, with it going out the full 50 meters or 25 pieces to the side. And it's also supporting a structure on the last piece, as you can see here. Now let's move on and look at the way the stability is calculated. As far as I can tell and what most people on various forums and the internet agree on, the system calculates the shortest way down to the ground. Real world physics like placing multiple support beams, adding these stabilizing structures or taking weight into consideration are not applicable in Valheim as far as I can tell and as this example over here shows. The system always calculates the shortest possible way to the ground. You can see in this example over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces to the ground. We can make use of the angled wooden beams to shorten the way to the ground over here. So we have the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces to the ground as well as over here. This allows us to build two poles farther out. We can remove these four poles over here, since they add nothing to the stability of this structure. 
The last topic, stone, has some specialities of its own as well. First of all, you can only go one meter, meaning half a wall to the side. You can, however, extend this with the arches to go out a maximum of 10 meters or 5 2 by one walls. Also, getting lower, the higher you get. You can also place a 2x2 two two stone floor piece to the side, with it being supported by a 1x1 one one stone, as shown here. You can, of course, also place the 2x2 two two floor pieces on the, on the arches. The big bonus of building with stone, however, is that it counts as ground support for wood, up to 14 meters or 7 pieces high. As you can see here, this wood pole is blue, which means it is calculated the same way as if it would stand on the ground. Iron wood also counts as ground support for other wood poles, up to 30 meters or 15 pieces. You can of course also go higher and then add normal wood on top, but then the wooden pieces will start off with will start out with green, orange or red depending on the height. Using this combination of stone or reinforced iron wood with normal wood is quite helpful to build higher structures. The highest you can get however is if you use only iron wood and the number is the 15 meters as already stated earlier. I think this covers all there is to building stability in Valheim. I hope you learned something today Thank you for watching and see you in Valhalla.